Hey guys, welcome back to my series Inside My Micro Bakery. I'm Lily and I run my own small business called Lily's Loaf in South London. So we had a flood last night. Um, it was very dramatic. It was about 1am and I had been defrosting my fridge yesterday after I finished all of my bakes on Tuesday and all of the deliveries. Um, over time the whole back of the fridge had gathered loads and loads of ice so it was working really really inefficiently and so I was like well let's just defrost it and so I popped in one of my big bulk containers in the bottom and a little tin as well to gather all of the water just left it turned it off left the door open and just thought it would just do its thing and I'd have to remove the container every so once in a while um, but what happened was uh, at the back of the fridge it's working so inefficiently that it's kind of it dripped out the back as well as out the front of the fridge where I was gathering the water dripped out the back seeped all the way onto our kitchen floor and almost onto the flower bags luckily my granny was staying last night and she's such a night owl she was up really really late and she came in just to go to bed before she went to bed and saw water everywhere so yeah it was very very dramatic but now it's okay it's completely defrosted um and it's kind of back to normal um i've switched it on so fingers crossed it's okay but i think it's just something that i'm gonna have to keep an eye on um from now on and just really keep on top of it and also get in touch with Nisbets, who I got the fridge from and just asked them like what is going on um so yeah that was very very dramatic kind of start to the day well at 1am in the morning today uh I am doing some market prep I'm getting organized for the next three weekends ahead which are going to be very very busy filled with markets all in south london um so today i've started off with well actually i'm doing some morning bundo at the moment for one of my wholesale clients 40 acre boris coffee for a delivery tomorrow and then i'm also preparing loads of pesto i'm going to be making about 15 jars worth um for the market because I'm thinking of doing these kind of like pesto puff pastry swirl things. I've seen them online, like loads of people do them with cheese. I obviously won't be doing them with cheese, but I just thought it was a really cool idea of like having a pastry, a savory one, um, and just something new to try. And I might be selling a few of my jars potentially. I've also, I'm also going to be doing some vegan sausage rolls, so I thought I could get the minced meat, minced meat ready today. Um, potentially try some rough puff pastry too, um, but that's kind of the plan for today. So yeah, um, I'm going to bring you along with me and show you like all of the processes. So I also did an order yesterday on an app called Recce. Um, some of you in the UK might be familiar with it already, um, but this is it. But basically, you're connected to loads and loads of food suppliers um, in London. I don't know if it works outside of London, but it's kind of amazing because you have access to loads of like fruit and veg suppliers, um, dairy suppliers, like sugar, um, olive oil, anything you can really think of there's a supplier there for it and I started using this after a fellow baker recommended it to me um, because previously I'd been just going to like Costco, going to Sainsbury's, um, ordering things online on like Whole Foods online, like mainly wholesale prices but then I was still, like I still go to Sainsbury's quite a lot just in panic buys if I need some oat milk or if I need some like vegan butter um, or like an orange or garlic here and there so it wasn't really that efficient and it's not really a good use of my time so like what better way to go on an app and 
pop in your order. I mean, yes, you have to kind of pick and choose and find which suppliers sell what you're looking for. Like, for example, I did two orders yesterday, one from Woods Food Service and one from Ted's Veg. Um, and between those two, I could order everything that I needed, which is amazing. And this morning, it arrived at my door. So, yeah, I mean, what more can you want than that, really? So that is a really big tip. If you guys are running your business in the UK, I definitely check out Recce because it's what all of the chefs use. Uh, to supply their restaurants and businesses definitely in London um, so yeah that's just really really cool and a nice little hack so I ordered up some new postcards because whenever I go to the markets or whenever I'm doing my home deliveries I always like popping these in especially with new customers and like writing a little note on the back um, just to say thank you for your order let me know what you think um, and yeah it's just like a uh, little a branding thing and then I also made these up because a lot of the time I make uh, products for my markets with wild farm flour and you guys have probably heard me talk about wild farm before but I wanted something there that I could have on the stool that would just give the customers a bit more information about wild farm and like what their mission is and what they're all about and I just thought that was quite cool and I wanted something to sh really show like what they're all about and yeah so I picked this image of the vast field and like luscious green and like healthy soil, healthy flower, healthy grain um, and just how like their bigger mission is to have healthy soil uh, equals carbon sink equals reverse climate change so yeah I'm quite happy with that. Okay so next up in prep today is um, my vegan sausage roll that I'm gonna make for the first time ever so I've got these gorgeous chestnut mushrooms um, not gonna lie they are a bit sweaty and a bit smelly so I'm just gonna give them a little wipe with a damp cloth that's what it says to do instead of peeling the skins off um, I've also got garlic here I've got fresh thyme I've got some miso paste that Kitty Tate actually gave to me when I um, spent a day with her and her dad at the Orange Bakery that was so sweet of her because she does an amazing um, miso sesame sourdough loaf which I'm still yet to try but I've got this in here which I'm going to try in my vegan sausage roll um, and then I need to mix it together with some I think I've got some red kidney beans instead of lentils um, some onions as well and some mustard potentially so yeah how nice It's Thursday morning now, um, and it's bright and early, as you can see. This is one of my favourite things about being a baker, is just like the fact that you're kind of awake before the sun, and you get to see the sun coming up, and this gorgeous light like this behind me, and I just can imagine how like magical that will be in my bakery as well when I have it, and just kind of waking up before the rest of the world and as tough as that is sometimes as well like I'm kind of romanticizing it a bit um and like having to go to bed super early even though I'm still working on that I go to bed way too late I go to bed at like 10 in order to be up at like half four or five it's not enough sleep at the moment um so yeah I'm still working on that and like just getting into bed early enough um but yeah, this is one of my favourite things. Just like kind of seeing this gorgeous, gorgeous light and the really like there's such a there's such a special energy before dawn. Don't you think? Like I was listening to this podcast as well the other day, just about like how all these super successful people they always, always used to get up before the sun. 
Um, I think it's because like it's just like something in the air. It's just extra, extra special. I always love this time, and also kind of like just before sunset as well. It's just so, so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so I got a delivery today to Forty Acre Forest Coffee. So I'll be doing that. So the morning buns are just proving right now. Um, and I've got a whole day of prep to do for my deliveries tomorrow. I've got to make some rough puff pastry for my vegan sausage rolls. And I've got to try these pesto swirls out. I haven't decided if I'm going to do like pesto kind of twists or pesto swirls. Um, I think that would work better best with croissant dough but because I haven't cracked that yet I'm not sure that's going to work with rough puff but maybe it will or I might just make it into a bun like a kind of savoury pesto bun but I think the rough puff pastry and the pesto will look better um, so that's kind of the plan for today um, and also need to get some like ingredients cards made up make sure I'm happy with like all of my equipment, the table's ready, the banner's ready, uh, like all my utensils, um, what else? Yeah, I'm probably forgetting loads of stuff right now, but that's kind of the main gist of it. But yeah, that's the plan. It's market day today, so it's Saturday, the 11th of June. Um, it's about 20 past five. I've been up since half four, um, just because the market starts so early today. So I wanted to be prepared and be on time for once. Um, but yeah, so I've got my sourdough in right now. I've got well farmed whole grain tins got some wheat free loaves as well all in the little baby tins just because I can fit so many more in there um, than like free form loaves and on market days it's like these kind of little hacks that I'm learning that just help me kind of produce more um, than it looks and it also just means it's more efficient because I can do one bake in here which will last about 45 minutes and get all of my loaves done and then I can focus on my other products like my epic morning buns I'm doing vegan sausage rolls today um, and what else am I doing pesto which I still need to jar up so yeah I'm gonna do that now So, a little update on my bake for you. So, I've done all of my sourdough there, all lovely tin loaves, wheat free on the top, South London sourdough in the middle, and then you can't see but a uh, wild farm whole grain at the bottom. And then I've just brushed all of my vegan sausage rolls here, which are looking gorgeous. I really, really hope these work out. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with them so far. They're very, very satisfying to make. So, if these work out, I'll definitely be doing them again for the next few markets but yeah how cute do they look ah, wish them luck
first ever vegan sausage rolls that I've made from scratch. Not too bad, some of them have like burst here, but I think that's okay, you know, still learning. But yeah, pretty happy with them, they smell amazing. So I'm gonna try one in a bit when they've cooled down. Yeah, this is kind of the whole setup right now. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm not baking right now. I've been editing just there um, and I realised that I hadn't signed off this week's video. So just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends about Lily's Loaf. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.